So what's up YouTube? It's RS Mario here bringing you another video. This time we are talking about something that could be a reference to uh well, the future Pokemon games like Generation 9. It could be a reference to Zelda Breath of the Wild. It could be a reference to pretty much anything coming up in Nintendo's future because we are talking about a feature for this well, at least for the development suite for the Switch. So uh, it looks like some people did some data mining because whenever anything, any part of a game is released, it's gonna get data mined. It doesn't matter if it's a beta, a demo, uh, a, 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 a 10 minute trial, it's gonna get data mined. And so people data mined the Nintendo Switch Sports uh, beta online test thing that came out. And they found that the game is using Fidelity FX Super Resolution. So, I hear you saying, Mario, why is this important? Why are you making a video about this? Why are you wasting my time? Well, simple as this. Well, because if they're using it in Nintendo Switch Sports, which is kind of like a cartoony sports game that doesn't really need Uber graphics, then they're probably going to be using it in a lot, other, a lot of other future games for the Switch, like Generation 9 and specifically Breath of the Wild 2. Um, now, of course, what does uh, FSR do specifically? Well, it does perform similarly to DLSS, where DLSS comes in and basically it, it, it basically allows your tech to display images or display graphics that look a lot better than what the tech can actually do. And FSR does something similar, but, it, but you don't require as powerful of tech as you need for DLSR. Now, FSR can work with chips that are as powerful as the Switch. You know what I'm saying? So this could be a nice little throughway into them working with DLS, DLSS in the future. But also it makes Switch games look a lot sharper now. Like look at Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That game looks really good. All right, it doesn't look like, a, it looks really good for a Switch game. I can tell you that, and they could be doing the same thing for Breath of the Wild 2, or Generation 9, or pretty much anything in, in the future, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to Nintendo games. Now, the good thing about this is, better looking Switch games. The bad thing about this is, better looking Switch games. Because here's the thing, if Switch games look better, so we, we have a system with a better screen, and the games are going to look better this is almost like an incremental update so yes this kind of extends the life of the switch this is why they were saying oh yeah you know the switch is in the middle of its life cycle and i'm like the middle what the, what the hell is the, the middle but with something like this it technically could artificially extend the switch's life cycle i mean because if the games look better and they're on a better screen you know what I'm saying? People are going to be like, oh, well, it looks better than it did before. I still want a new system, though. <laughs> I still want a new system. But this could be pretty good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Imagine, you know, the uh, updated version of the Breath of the Wild art style with FSR. You know what I'm saying? Imagine what we got in, Breath of, in, uh, in, in, in Pokemon Legends Arceus just better looking and, like, sharper. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what FSR does. FSR basically comes in and it, it smooths out the edges and, you know, the edges and the jaggies that you get because of the polygon count that you use on the Switch and it makes things look sharper. So, that should be pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? So, that's about it for this one. Oh, uh, this was a weird video because I was expecting to get more out of Pokemon Day or Pokemon Week the countdown to Pokemon Day, but we didn't. Uh, the, the, it's been kind of garbo. Like, the, the Sword and Shield announcement was just some new raids, you know what I'm saying, for, like, Kanto starters. And I'm like, I mean, that's cool, but am I going to reinstall the game just to do some raids? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I can see Nintendo. Yeah, here you go. Do some raids with all those friends you don't have because you're talking about Pokemon on the internet. <laughs> But that's about it for this. So, of course, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Tomorrow's video should be everything I love about Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
And of course, you know, I might stream this week. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out what's going on with this YouTube, this YouTube algorithm. Because it's been dropping my videos like a rock, man. Like, I was like, yo. So, uh, I'm trying to see if we can figure out a way to, to stream without hurting the algorithm too much. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, folks, keep it real.